Well, here we go again. Hello, and how are we all doing today? I hope we're all well. Welcome back to, once again, another video. Now, I'd just like to start off by saying thank you. Thank you for all the support you've given me in the past you know, past few weeks, it's uh, it's meant a fucking hell of a lot to me. You know, just for, you know, liking one of my videos, watching my video, maybe even doing a little subscribe, it all means so much to me. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're legends and I love you. Now, for today's video, seeing as the Why Is Slam Dunk Festival So Good video went down so well, I thought it would be only right to maybe carry on this series and um, go over to one of the next festivals in the festival calendar. And that, of course, is the festival that was meant to take place this weekend, and that is, of course, Download Festival. Download Festival takes place at Castle Donington every year in June and is the successor of what was the great Monsters of Rock Festival which took place between 1980 and 1996 on the very same grounds which played you know heavy 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 rock heavy metal uh, so its roots are still sustained in Download Festival of what it is today. Now I might not be a Download veteran you know I've only been four or five times and I know there's people watching this that'll have been more times than I have uh, and probably have more knowledge that, on it than I do but one thing I do know is I guarantee I will be going to every download festival in the coming future because I just know that it's such a great festival and if you've not experienced it yourself and you've, you're watching this video to maybe find out what download is like just take this from me, from me now it's great and you should go you'll love it now just a disclaimer about this video you know, all these opinions are my own, you know, and if you don't agree with it, then that's your own problem. This is just why I think Download Festival is so good. And I'm sure a lot of you will agree, because overall, it is one of the best festivals you can go to right now. Now, whether you're a newbie or you just want to reminisce on all the good years that you've previously had at Download, let's go through why is Download Festival so good. Now, the first port of call for why Download Festival is so good is the fact it is the first major festival of the year. Now, I know if you've watched my previous video on Slam Dunk, you, you know I said that it's one of the first festivals of the year. That is true, but Download's the first major festival of the year, meaning it's five days of camping and three full days of music. You know, it's a big festival, you know, in the same leagues as Glastonbury and Redden and Leeds and all that type of stuff. It's, it's the first one of the year, and there's no better festival, I feel, um, for, for it to be the first because whether you want to, you know, ease into festival season by having a bit of a chill, relaxed weekend with your mates, you know, just to some tunes, uh, you can do that because there's plenty of stuff to do. It can be nice and relaxing to ease you into festival season. Or it's perfect because it means you can let your hair down and go jump in a mosh pit and headbutt someone. So you've kind of got that, that mix of, you know, best of both worlds, really. So. It's a great first festival, you know, whether you want to relax and ease into festival season or want to go head first, headbutt someone and, you know, dive straight in. Because to be honest with you, for some people, Download Festival is the first and only festival they go to every year. So, you know, if they want to go all out, be my guest, you know, I'm not going to stop you. Because the good thing about Download is people are friendly and they're very accepting of people like that. So the other good reason about Download Festival being uh, one of the first festivals of the year is the fact that it's not quite in the mist of summer. Uh, because, let's be honest with you, when it comes to, you know, the height of summer, you're, you're spending all your extra cash in the beer garden, or maybe some other festivals. So download uh, a great by having it, you know, as one of the first, because it gets your money in quick, you know, and it means that you spend your money there first. So, it, you know, it gives you that chance to be able to then save up for afterwards, to still be able to uh, enjoy the rest of your summer. And, you know, it evidently works because Download's like one of the second biggest UK festivals uh, in the country, only second to like Glastonbury. Obviously that's kind of excluding Red and Leeds because they're kind of classed as two different festivals even though they're the... Shut up. So yeah, it's great because, let's be honest with you, it kind of feels like an eternity since you were last at a festival. You know, the last festival of the year is always, you know, Red and Leeds. So you kind of feel like you're waiting forever until the next festival comes around. So it's great that it gets that, you know, gets to the beginning of June and you're like, right, this is it. I get, I get to, I get to camp, you know. It's all good, you know, having a festival like Slam Dunk where you can, you know, have one day of it. But that's not, you know that's not the proper festival experience that you imagine in your head. You know, you want, want to be able to be covered in mud and and just, you know, have a great 
full three days of music. Now, another reason why Download Festival is so good is because of the bands that they get. Now, I've got to, I've got to say now, I, I don't think there's been a Download Festival uh, lineup that I've said has been that it's been perfect. However, they've still managed, you know, to throughout the lineup sprinkle in some little gems, some bands that do you know what I would never pay to go see on tour, but thankfully they, they've sprinkled them in, so you end up getting your money's worth because for some people. Going to see bands on a tour, you know, they can, maybe might not be able to do it either because of financial reasons or purely because, you know, those bands don't tour or tour often or tour the UK very often. You know, bands like Aerosmith, Ramstein, System of Down, you don't see those guys play England that often. So to have the chance to be able to see them at Download Festival, plus all the other stuff you get with it as well, is just great. It really, you kind of do get your money's worth because you get to see so many other bands at, at the same time. Like for example, White Snake are a band I I would never kind of consider going to see on tour, but when they played back in 2019, obviously I wanted to go see them because you know they're an iconic you know iconic rock band. And do you know what? They were probably the best band of the weekend because I had no expectations for them. Yet, they were, but they were incredible, and I was so surprised at how many songs I actually knew. And it wasn't just "Here I Go Again." They, they were fantastic, and that's what I really love about Download is that they get those iconic rock bands from maybe back in the day, or for, or in general, just bands that you'd never assume that you'd see because you wouldn't pay to see them on tour. So I give credit to Download for that. I love it that they do that. All I ask is that you stop booking bands like Iron Maiden because everyone's seen them now. What about Foo Fighters? Why have they not headlined it yet? But yeah, I know the lineup can be sometimes very controversial for people, but overall, you, you know that there's going to be at least one band that you will happily go see. And at the end of the day, you know, download isn't always about the bands that you see. Which moves me on to my next point of it's not all about the bands, it's more about the camping experience and everything that surrounds that including the campsite and the village. Now I'm not the type of downloader that will go to the arena as soon as it opens and stay there all day. I will usually go to the arena as you know when there's a band I want to see which is usually you know mid to late afternoon you know I might only catch the sub headliner and the headliner some, some weekends. It's all about being at camp with your mates. Now you'll wake up usually in the rain and you'll all wake up together, pull your chairs out, and just reminisce on everything that's kind of happened. And it's, I, I've had some of my happiest moments just sat at camp chatting shit, basically. You know, whether you're playing drinking games, shouting at planes, listening to music, or your mates cock while he pisses, you're guaranteed to be laughing your head off. And it's what we do every year. We honestly have some of the best moments of us as a collective just from download because we laugh that much because it's just us at camp being good mates and then when we do decide to maybe stretch the odd legs you know we'll walk over to the village and there's so much to do there as well you know our favorite things to do is go on the dodgems and go on the fun house and see all the different stalls looking at merch all that type of stuff you know it there's something for everyone to do you know whether whether you're a family or you're going with your mates you know there's something for everyone and that's what I, that's what I really love about download it's not it's not just the music that they have playing there it's the whole atmosphere you know thankfully everyone's so friendly at download and it really makes the difference because you you know you, you know that you're gonna go there and you're not gonna be the weirdest person there uh, and it, you ju you're just made to feel so comfortable so when you walk around camp walking around the village with your mates you know you you generally don't think there's any better feeling and I kind of don't think that I don't think there is a better feeling and also one thing I completely forgot to mention is the dog house the dog house is absolutely amazing it's kind of like the nightclub of the festival like you 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 watch the headliner and then you go back to camp get your bottle of dizzy and you head over there and it's just amazing you try pop all the balloons get the blue glow stick pick up your mate that's wearing white jeans off the muddy floor it's amazing dog house is probably the best part of the whole village area it is amazing so you definitely have to go to that now i'm sure everyone has their own stories of you know them being at camp with the mates but at the end of the day it is the simplest thing that that matter with it all just being able to sit with your friends having a drink just having a laugh 
And even if you're not with your mates, download have been great by setting up Camp, camp Loner or something like that. You know, where if, if you're on your own, you can go there and meet loads of new people, which I think is such a great idea because the, because for download, it's all about community. And for a genre like rock and metal, um, not everyone likes it at the end of the day. You know, I was in a friendship group at school where I was the only one that kind of liked that type of music. So stuff like that, I think is great for people like that. And I know quite a few people that have gone to that. And the years after that, they've made friends for life and they meet up with them next time. So they don't have to go to the camp loner again. I think that's a great uh, factor to the campsite and uh, the village. For a lot of people, download is maybe the only time they will see their friends um, because, you know, people can be all over the country so it's a great place to meet up and just be with your friends because uh, I think that is one of the main factors to download is because it does have such a big emphasis on its community which brings me on to one of the most special factors as to why download festival is so good and that is the community that it has now there is a stereotype of uh, rock and metal metal fans being these scary, angry people that listen to like screaming, shouting music. And whereas, you know, some of that is somewhat correct, I do think that Download is a mixture of some of the nicest people you will probably meet. And Download has, over the years, been known as one of the friendliest festivals uh, around. And I think that's probably due to the fact that it's so accepted. There's people from all walks of life that go to this festival. No matter what your background is, Everyone is seen as being equal at download for the pure fact that you're all there for the same reason. You're all there because you share, share the same passion. Obviously, just like anywhere, you know, th there will be the odd dickhead. dickhead that you might encounter, but they are completely overshadowed by the warm hearts of people that are at download. I've seen some of the most beautiful things at download before. For example, I've seen um, a guy in a wheelchair get crowd surfed at main stage, you know, that people are, you know, want other people to have a good weekend at the end of the day. They don't want someone's weekend to be ruined. They want people to have a great time because at the end of the day, they're all there for the same reason. And another example would be that there's a guy that lives just at the other side of Download and every year he rents out his back garden and lets complete strangers camp in it just because he wants to make sure that they have the best festival experience as they possibly can. You know, he'll do a barbecue every morning morning and every evening you know he'll let you charge your phone and I th fortunately the first year I went uh, had the chance to go stay at this guy's in, in this guy's garden because I went with my girlfriend at the time and I know that ever since then they've gone every single year he's even like built his own bar in the back garden and it probably says a lot when I would say that me and the boys are probably the knobs of the festival because we're classed as probably the rowdy ones that just shows how nice the festival is because because we obviously aren't the knobs, obviously. But overall, the community of download, you will always be accepted no matter, you know, no matter what your situation is. It's the most friendliest festival you will probably encounter ever. Something else that I love about Download Festival is the food selection. Now, you can go to a festival and expect a burger place to be there, a noodle place to be, be there, you know, all those type of places. And you know what, you're in luck because all those places are there but mass amounts of them. No matter where you look, you're not far from something that you want. And the good thing is, they've got loads of different choices. You know, whether you're gluten-free, vegan, veggie, whatever you are, there is something for you. And the food is wonderful there. You know, my favorites are obviously the noodle place. And there's this place that does these great kebabs because they are just so fucking nice. I highly recommend that place, whatever it's called. And if I could give any advice is, if money's not an issue for you, don't bother taking food to the festival. Buy your food there, because the good thing is, there's also the co-op there, which I think has really revolutionized um, Download and Red and Leeds, because you can get everything you want there. Um, the prices aren't even that much different either. I think there might be a quid more uh, than you pay in the, in, in the shop back at home, which, you know what? is completely fine due to the convenience of it, because the last thing you want to be doing is lugging all the all the food bags with you to camp when you know you can get it six feet away. The food is amazing at Download. I, I do recommend and the good thing is it gives you the ability to try new things as well. There's so many varieties of what you can get there. Just maybe stay away from the cheesy sauce at Easy Cheesy if you know you know. But either way the food at Download is incredible and I do recommend that you 
go to as many places as you want, especially the kebab house and the noodle bar. Now, there's some things that I, I think is why Download Festival is so good, but overall, the main reason why Download Festival is so good is, there's no simple way to put it, is because it's download. There's just an atmosphere at download that you don't get anywhere else. I think the fact of that it has such a nice friendly community, there's everything there, you're surrounded by good music, you're surrounded by people that all have a common interest with you. You really do feel the love at the festival and everything about it is just great. You know, even if you don't like the full lineup, which I've been to download before where I've not liked the, you know, the headliners, let's say. I've still had such a good weekend and having those headliners has not diminished my feelings of the fe uh, festival at all. For myself and I know for others it's a real serotonin boost when you're at download because you kind of forget all your worries, you know, even if it is just for five days, you forget all your problems at home, all your problems at work because at the end of the day you're just there to have a good time and you're surrounded by people that are like-minded just like you. I think the best way to describe Download Festival is the fact that, you know, from the rain of 2016 to the cancellation of it this year, we've still found a way to keep the festival alive and going. We've still found a way to stay positive about the whole situation and it's just making us more excited for Download 2021. And there we go, there are just a few reasons why I think Download Festival is so good. You know, you may have other 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 reasons why you think Download is so good, and I'd love to hear from them. So, you know, if you've got another reason, put it down in comments and I'll uh, I'll uh, see what you say. Either way, thank you so much for watching this video today. It means a lot. And I hope that, for, you know, just like with me, it's been lovely to kind of look back on the previous downloads and just reminisce on how good it was. Or even if you're watching this and you've never been to download before and, you know, and don't know whether to go, I hope this has maybe convinced you to know that Download Festival is a great festival and it's br a brilliant first festival for someone that might not have been to a festival before because you know you're going to get looked after, you know you're going to have a good time and 9 times out of 10 you're probably going to get to see some good bands that you would never usually see as well. As you may also know, I am also part of TPD TV, and I'm sure you're aware that there's loads of download content over on that channel, so go check it out, especially now because there is locked download content, and there's still loads of stuff on there to keep Download 2020's content alive. But yeah, thank you so much guys, don't forget to, you know, like, subscribe, follow all my socials to keep up to date with everything, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Up and tear it down Some of the ocean